Good morning, happy Thursday. First of all, I apologize. I haven't done one of these in a while and it's just simply because my schedule got crazy and workouts had to get done first. But I'm going to try and start doing these more often. They have to be in the afternoon instead of first thing in the morning. But I just wanted to come on here and talk to you about life and how it just, it's not something that's meant to just be easy it's not something that's going to get easier you just become stronger there's so many things in life that can throw curveballs that can prevent you from living your best life or give you the opportunity to become an excuse and you may or may not intend for it to be an excuse but sometimes it comes that way like you have kids and you want to work out and you want to eat healthier and you want to do all these things for yourself but in your mind your kids are an obstacle and you rather say well I can't I can't go to the gym because I have to take my kids with me and I don't like taking them with me so I just don't bother or I can't work out at home because I don't have the space or the kids will just be all over me or they'll be fighting they'll be making a mess I just can't do it well see here's the thing I've worked out in a closet before I have worked out in the middle of a playroom before <laughs> it's not about them in my opinion I'm sure you guys have your own reasons explanations but at the end of the day, if you're honest with yourself and you're using your kids as an excuse because you don't want to become uncomfortable, that's not only not fair to them, it's not fair to you, and it's not fair to your goals. If you want to eat healthy, but there's nobody in your family that will eat healthy with you, so you just don't bother, or because it's too expensive, you just don't bother. There are alternatives to eating healthy, it may not be high-end dollar fruit or, or all organic. You might have to get some frozen things. You might have to get some canned things. But it's at least able, you're at least able to wash them, to rinse them, and to eat cleaner than you would to be eating a bag of chips or all of these different things that are not healthy for you. Like, life just isn't always going to be easy. It's a matter of you pushing yourself and showing yourself what you're capable of and making things work. So if your family members don't want to eat healthy, then don't make them. You buy stuff for yourself. You budget it out. Okay? That might mean you have to go take a field trip at the store with your list and write down the prices of the things that you would need for yourself. And then you use the rest of your budget to get your family things but when you buy your family things get them the healthier options of the things that they like and that way they still get their things but they're at least eating healthier so if they like potato chips then you get them the baked chips if they like cheetos there is an organic chip that's that's very similar or healthier you find the things that are very identical in picture so that they can at least have less junk going into their bodies you don't have time is a lot of people's response and that's the truth for people is that yes yeah, some people work 14 hours a day some people work more hours a day but there's gonna be times where you're gonna be catching yourself scrolling through social media scrolling through Facebook Instagram building a, a dream board on Pinterest or several of them in chat forums, reading blogs, all of the things that add up to an hour or more, you will catch yourself doing something somewhere now. And if you are working and sleeping, you don't have a life. You just don't. You need to cut back an hour three times a week or two times a week just so you can make some time for yourself because if you're working that hard then you're not living you're not enjoying the money that you're making 
and there's probably something in your budget that you need to reconfigure. Now I understand that some people have a lot going on, they have a lot of debt, they have a lot of things they have to catch up on. I get it. But you're not going to put your best foot forward at work. You're not going to be helping anybody else if you are working so much that you can't invest in yourself, that you can't make time for yourself, that you can't work out for 30 minutes, that you can't sit and read a book for five minutes. Like if you literally are not finding time to do anything other than to shower, sleep, and go to work, you need to take a break somewhere because that's not serving anybody at all. If you want to get a promotion so you can pay this debt off, if you want to get more hours or do better at work so that you can really strive in life, you have got to give yourself an hour a day outside of daily grooming. And that gives you time to do a workout, to read a book, to reset your mind. You cannot work yourself to the bone every single day and expect to enjoy your life and expect to give your best. And it sucks because there are people out there that have to do that. My, my parents had to do that growing up and it's not easy. But I would rather see you guys take a little bit longer to pay debt off and be healthy than to be working and burning both ends of the candle and then going back and burning the middle because you're not going to be able to help anybody. And so you just have to consider that yes, life is not going to be easy. It's not always going to be rainbows and butterflies. You're not going to wake up every single morning and everything just be handed to you. If you want something bad enough, you have to make it work. You have to get up earlier. You have to go to bed earlier. You have to turn the TV off so you can read for five minutes so that you can make a to-do list of things that you need to do. And sometimes you have to ask for help. Sometimes if you work that many hours, it's going to be vital for you to ask for help have friends come over, help you clean, you guys can swap, like whatever you have to do, but you have to ask for help because if you don't, it's not going to be beneficial for you and it's definitely not going to be beneficial for your family or any of your friends or even work for that matter. So today I want to encourage you, I know it's Friday, it's good Friday, it's a good, good day. I encourage you today to leave work early if you can. Go for a walk. Go home and take a nap. And set your intention for next week and promise yourself that you're going to cut back work. You're going to cut back the excuses. You're going to start eating cleaner. You're going to start drinking half your body weight in water a day. If that sounds like it's a lot, then that means that you probably should have started yesterday. And yes, you're going to pee. But you know what? It's okay because that means your body is getting all that garbage out. So start drinking and start finding things to make you happy, things to make you laugh and enjoy life and all of the curveballs that it throws at you because they're a blessing. You have the opportunity to catch those curveballs and you can throw them back with vengeance and you can say, because of that stupid curveball, I am who I am today. I am so much healthier. I am so much stronger and happier. Lord. Throw one back and let's see what you got because I can do this. You have to be on that level and you have to understand it's not going to be easy. But I promise you, it definitely will be worth it. 